What is going on today? We are talking about drums. Specifically, we're gonna go over my studio and I'm gonna show you guys some things. Starting off, I have a 22 inch kick drum, 12 inch rack tom, 16 inch floor tom, and then a massive, absolutely massive 14 by eight Truth Custom snare drum. And that's brass, it's awesome. It is a early 2000s PDP CX series, maple shells. I've got TNR floor tom iso mounts on each leg of this 16 inch floor tom. It's incredible, got my ears on there. I'm using 64 audio ears. I've got a little DW drum key on there as well. The overhead mics, I'm using an SE44A for both my pair of overheads. They're incredible, really, really good sound. On my floor tom, I've got a Sennheiser E604. It gives a really nice full bodied sound, which still allows plenty of attack. Then I'm using the same E604 over here on my rack tom. This is a 12 inch rack tom PDP maple. For the heads on the toms, I use Vintage Coated Emperors by Remo. These things last me a long time. They don't seem to get dead very easily as well, which helps a lot. And then on the snare, I'm rocking a Shure 54.5. It's so, so good. Gives me plenty of crisp attack and just all the tone that I need. For my snare, I'm rocking a Power Stroke 4. It's so, so good. For my sticks, I'm rocking right now the Shira Attack 5Bs by Promark. They sound really, really good. I mean, I just honestly, I use them all the time. Like, they don't really break easily, and I don't feel like I have to lay into the drums or the cymbals when I'm using them. I've got Gibraltar Lug Locks on the top of my snare, actually, and on the bottom. I'm missing a couple, but you can tell I really like them. For my throne, I've got the Mercedes-Benz of drum thrones for sure. I splurged on this. It's a DW9000 airlift. For my kick pedal, I use a DW2000, and I've got a Zorro beater on there as well. Just gives me a lot of punch, a little extra attack. For my bass drum head, I'm using an Evans EMAD 2 and I actually don't have any muffling on the ring right now. I just have a bunch of pillows inside of the drum. On the side of my snare drum basket, you'll see I have these kind of Velcro uh, little sockets attached to each side. And what these are, these are TNR Vibe ISO mounts for your snare, which really help give it a lot more resonance, which I enjoy a lot. For my bottom snare mic, I have another Sennheiser E604, which is just perfect for what I need. For my hi-hat pedal, believe it or not, I have the original PDP hi-hat stand that came with this kit when I originally bought it. Starting off our cymbals, I've got traditional light 16-inch hi-hats by Istanbul. Then going over to my crash here, I have a 22 Istanbul Exist crash. It's massive sounding, so much attack, full of awesome decay. And then last but certainly not least, I have a Joey uh, Weronocker 24 inch ride and this thing sounds absolutely beautiful. On the front half of the kit, I have a Yamaha sub kick for my kick out. Inside the actual kick drum itself, I've got the ever beautiful Audix D6 which everyone loves, I love it. It's easy for me to dial in my kick drum tone, I recommend it. For my rezzo head on my bass drum, I've got a Remo Power Stroke 3, and it's tuned fairly high, not too crazy, but I like a little bit of resonance on my rezzo head. I've got two different monitors, one is just my MacBook, the other part is, I actually use this for my full-time job, but I also use it to mix. It's a giant 34 inch biotech monitor. It's really nice, I'm not gonna lie. It's a, for my interface, I have a PreSonus 2626 Quantum, which has Thunderbolt 3 and it's got eight mic pre's. This thing is so, so nice. I'm very, very spoiled by it. 
then for my monitors, I've got Kali LP6s. Got really lovely pair. They are not too overbearing and we have a smaller house and so it's nice to have these when I mix. For my DAW, I use Logic Pro. I know there's so many great things out there, but for me, when it comes to recording a lot of my covers, content, or just want to track something remotely for an artist, I like to use this. It's easy for me to get in here and set up my sessions. So all of my recording that I do comes from my MacBook Pro. It's a 2020 year MacBook Pro. It has a quantum core processor. It's a i5 and two gigahertz. The memory is 16 gigabytes of RAM and a total of 256 gigabytes for just the regular hard drive storage space. And then on the other side over here, I'm using a Lacey hard drive. 